I love painting, arts, I sculpt, I went to art school. And it was really good because what you do in a plated decoration, it's all there, it's all artwork. It's making it tempting to the guests to see something, to want to eat it, but then you're gonna make sure that the taste is there as well. Growing up in Wales, you know, I had a great life. Born on a dairy farm. I tell my son, you know, when they say you milk the cows before you go to school, that's what I did. But my parents always did their own butter, cheeses and things like that. Everything was fresh. The first time of cooking is my mother showing me certain elements of the food, how to prepare it and everything else. When I moved to London on doing pastries in London, we were doing a lot of creative and new wave items. And the new wave that was coming in at that time was Novelle Cuisine, which is, in my background, being an artist as well, is you're painting a plate, painting a picture on a plate with food and everybody saw it was new, and that's what it's all about. That's the goal in life, is always keep going forward and creating something new. I look at the dessert, and I'll design the vessels to carry it. So we bend plastic. I give it to my engineering, and I give them an oven to bend stuff, just to make it more of an impact for the guests. You're there for them. You're creating, so when they walk in, it's a wow factor. And the key thing is to make it a wow factor because you want the guests to come back. So you want to make an impact. At Mohegan Sun, we actually created the largest wedding cake in the world. Our big movie studio created a cake for a movie. 5,000 pounds, eh, it wasn't too big. So I found a steel company to make a frame for me. 120 pounds per cake, and I needed 180 of them. We broke the record in uh, 2004, and it was the largest wedding cake in the world. Still stands today, 10 years later, at 15,032 pounds, 17 feet high. So I was bored after that, so now I created a gingerbread house that is 28 feet high and has two rooms inside. All the guests in Mohegan Sun can actually walk through it. I never stop. That's the problem. I want to keep going all the time. And what's next? I would love to go down Thanksgiving parade in New York City with something on a cake going down there. That's what it's all about. Can you, can you do this? Why not? Who said you can't? Well, why can't we do a better slush? And we actually put some money together and, and bought a slush machine, which I kept in my apartment. We would brew up batches of what we thought we would want to see in a more grown-up slush. 